They may take our Rams, but they will never take our football. That's the mentality in St. Louis, where these fans are ready to show America why they are the best fan base. And the United Football League leaves the backfield empty for McCarron. And a quick throw to Shepard. Nearly lost his footing, got it back for a solid pickup of six. And that is Peasy to his right in the slot, motioning out wide. And it goes to Jacor Pearson. His first touch, a spin. How about two of them? And right at the sticks. Play action. Backside pressure. He felt it. Beautiful touch. Mateo Durant, the Duke Blue Devil, picking up nine. And just a really nice job of sending everybody and clearing them out. Coming off with a token fake and just hitting Durant in the flat there. Again. A third at the start of his career. Another touch for Peasy. Peasy trying to get the corner. Great blocking to set it up. Connected from the same distance last week in a win against the Brahmas. Stay hot. Kickers across the UFL. Slow down that wide receiver quick screen game for St. Louis. Vinny Papali is back. Kickoffs from the 20. Anything out of bounds goes to the 50. And here is Papali. Papali following J.J. Wilson down the sideline. And he gets it to about a 45-yard line. They want Great field position for Cookus, and it's to the ground with Darius Victor. Cookus to throw, back to Victor, and it's first down yardage. A message from John DiFilippo coming into this game. Cookus to Daywood Davis, and Davis with first down yardage. It's a really nice job securing the football. He got the glance coming off of the token zone fake. Crowd has not yet been a factor for Case Cookis. Papali beating the Battlehawks defense and finding the end zone for his third touchdown of the year. Desperately needed. Well, no backs for Memphis. You see Case Cookis goes left, comes right back, finds 13 Papali on an option route. That option was one scampers off to the left side. Cookis will go to the one-on-one, -on -one, right side overthrown. Pretty invincible to me, huh? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks, man. Yeah, love you, Ken. Shepard, the Bison, out of North Dakota State, wants a house call. He is going to be pushed out, but it's already a red zone possession. Eight men at the top of the screen. Going with a little screen over the middle of the field. And is it? It is! Jacob Sailors. Back-to-back -back weeks. Memphis defensively, they thought, they thought Sailors was going to settle in as a pass protector. But more points per attempt from two. Another quick pass. This is Pearson. Tough to bring down, but... Abrams is able to do it with a little bit of help. It is loud in the dome. Cook is picked off. Laverne Hill, the Michigan man, with the stiff arm to midfield. Still going, and this place is berserk. The issue here with this throw Aside from the ball getting tipped, but had the ball not got tipped, the concern I would have had is it would have been on the back lower hip of the intended target. Instead, LeBert Hill, aided by the tip, is able to secure the football and then make something happen after the catch. Show some ball skills. Karen trying to turn it into points. Quick pass, great hands by Peasy. Jacor Pearson. No players in the UFL with multiple interceptions this season. McCarron getting the football out quickly. Butler nearly dropped it, showing that huge frame and his ability to rumble after the catch where he played two games in his career. Third and four. Back to Butler. Move the sticks. Who has more than 1,500 rushing yards in his NFL career. Pearson. Open, spun down at the five-yard line by Christian McFarland. 
Gallman with the carry and the touchdown. His first in the United Football League. Had nine of those in the NFL with the Giants. Again, they're going to pull 74 around here. He leads in, and Gallman actually has to take on number 24 there, Dre Elder, because the offensive lineman, number 73, Juwan Bushel Beatty, actually misses the block. No PAT kicks in the UFL. The carrot, so cool in the presence by the Cowboy, Marcel Aitman, in the back of the end zone. Tack on two more. We call this right here, we call this the back end line. And A.J. McCarron takes the second window. There's the second window right there. aitman has got the wherewithal to secure the football. By the Battle Hawks, the most scored in the first quarter this season. McCarron sideline to Aitman. Aitman trying to shake a little stiff arm. Get off me to the 45-yard line. Just activated on Monday. Shepard. Man, this guy does it all. Sutherland. This is a carry to Sailors to the 40-yard line. Comfortable in the pocket. This is a next level of his game. McCarron scrambles. Beck wants a flag for the contact. Karen getting out quick. And that's soft the fingertips. He needs to understand it's not the NFL. Right. It right. is a slightly different level. Here's Smith. Trying to stay perfect. And he cannot. So a streak of 20 straight makes by UFL kickers comes to a close. Case Cook is back to work. Victor reversing fields. And oh, good contact there at the 45-yard line. Let's go. Each team has one challenge to use per game, but you must have a timeout remaining to use that challenge, and you can use anything. Biggest opportunity to roll that Darius Victor has had all season long. The USFL Offensive Player of the Year. Do a nice job pulling the offensive line, and Jaron Jones, number 77 around. Now listen, Darius Victor's not going to dance and make people miss, but when he levels you, you are going to feel it. He is a bowling ball. Boise State, who is signed this week. Titus Swin out of Wyoming, currently the running back, and back to back, great holes in the loop. Darius Victor with the carry. Oh, he's showing the toughness. Ball comes out, but it's ruled a touchdown. And Darius Victor finds Pater for the first time this season. We've got a game inside the dome. What an answer from Memphis offensively. This is just simple inside really zone. Really the field as the runner broke the plane of the goal line with possession of the ball. Touchdown. Oh, mercy. Middle. Drayvon Askew Henry got all Ooh. of Darius Victor right there. The rifle to the end zone, and all you need to see is the hands up by Sage Surratt, and the Demon Deke says, give me two more. McCarron, 18 of 22. Great job avoiding the pressure and completing it to big Marcel Aitman. And watch the patience of A.J. McCarron. He knows he's got a slightly retreat, he's got people in his face, and now he just releases it at the last second. McCarron, 18 of 22. Great job avoiding the pressure and completing it to big Marcel Aitman. That has played a lot of football, highest level in the SEC and in the NFL. Mateo Durant. That four wide receiver set again, Harry, with 88. He's the inside receiver. Memphis drops back, and the coverage picked off! Quentin Meeks! Meeks! To the 30, cutting it back inside. A little swim move, and Quentin Meeks out of Stanford. Hakeem Butler, if he would have taken him right there in the middle of the field, instead he tries to throw the slant to Aitman, who does not finish the route. A.J. McCarron thought number three Aitman would cross face, finish the route, and ends up getting manhandled there on the route. Credit number seven, Quentin Meeks, and again the momentum for Memphis. Cook is to throw. 
He's got time. Great hands by Daywood Davis. And it is close to first down yardage. I think it's going to be short from the spot. The most of the UFL to tie. And that will nod us up at 17. So 34 combined points. See if McCarron recognizes and goes that direction. Instead, going to the middle, Akeem Butler. And Butler is so tough. Battle Hawks with three timeouts. Max Roberts was trying to get there off the edge. On the 47. Former Bama star to Pearson. Pearson to the 30-yard line. Former Lou Groza Award winner as a freshman at Syracuse. Awarded to the top kicker in college football. Back to his old school ways. He hammered this one. It's a low trajectory kick, but look how high up on the crossbar it goes over. Cookies has it stripped. Jared Thomas falls on it. Really is a fumble recovered. Case the Cook is down, getting checked out. We'll be back after this break and a word from our ABC stations. Great field position for the Battle Hawks. Got a little zone run and some quick screen action here. To Akeem Butler. Darius Shepard set the edge with the block. Solid pickup. St. Louis scored a UFL high 17 points in the first quarter. They have three points since. Second and 16. McCarron just dancing but in control. Shepard, the tight window. Throws a dart to Darius Shepard. And again, the awareness of where your personnel is. Larry better get over there. Third and two. Jake Sutherland getting into the action. Sailor so smooth getting the yardage back. Got to get the 46 to cover. Third and nine. McCarron handles it like a champ. Akeem Butler to the 15. We call this the orbit route. You see 88 climb up vertically and cross face. And AJ McCarron does a nice job. One on one on the outside. Yep. McCarron looking that way. Pump fakes. Beautiful read to Jake Sutherland. Watch him come on the perimeter here. He pumps underneath, and then he gets 52. Tyshawn Render from Memphis, the linebacker, in a bind. So what do you do? Do you continue to cover downfield, or do you come up and do you take A.J. McCarron? A little option. McCarron, did he get in? Yes, the signal on the field is touchdown. One-point conversion good for A.J. McCarron. Meyer proud last week. <laughs> now watch his After legs. video review, the ruling is the runner was yeah. short of the goal line on the try. It is no good. Third and nine. McCarron, so cool. Jacor Pearson coming over from the Seattle Sea Dragons. Happy to have him here in the dome. Ball pops out, but he was down. He really is the runner was the down season. after making line to gain first down, St. Louis. This is where St. Louis has been really good today. They get into no backs, they spread you out, and then they flood the middle of the field and settle in the zone, the voids. After video review, the ruling is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down Memphis at the 33-yard line. Always love Harry Douglas. Sailors with another carry, shaking, baking, Sailors, he's going to follow the lead of his H-back, who does a great job coming up through the gap. And then it's Sailors doing the rest. Securing. Karen, he's had great presence all afternoon. Corner of the end zone! On the money! Peasy! Let the TP fly! 
making up for that fumble on the previous series, but this is all A.J. McCarron's presence, and moreover, it's the five starters back from a year ago in the offensive line, allowing him to move around, survey the field. Aitman in motion, the carry to Goldman, and he is engulfed by Dalen Mack. Hey, the lakes have been a factor for A.J. McCarron. He completes 35 passes, right? That's his bread and butter. That's the most in the UFL this season. Jacob Sailors had the 57-yard run, the longest in the UFL. That really iced this game. And Sailors joining Durant as the only 100-yard rushers in the UFL. St. Louis has won three in a row. They have established their dominance. They are one of, if not the team to beat, in the XFL Conference. Memphis, meanwhile, has dropped three in a row.